Good morning and welcome to Hump Day Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Scott and I'm coming to you this morning from my study here at Ascension Lutheran Church in Citrus Heights. My most humble apology is that we weren't able to uh, to record a video last week. Uh, we had returned from Hawaii and even though our antivirus software was up to date, we ended up with, with a virus. And uh, so my operating system didn't allow us to record last week. And uh, I missed recording and being with you, but it is good. I'm, it's good to be back today. And I wore a Hawaiian shirt, you may notice. It's not very loud, but a Hawaiian shirt uh, for today's recording. Aloha. It is uh, good to be back on the mainland. And having spent a week in Hawaii, um, we heard aloha a lot. And actually, we saw aloha. In, in Hawaii, uh, aloha is more than just a greeting. It's actually a concept of, of peace and uh, being in relationship and welfare for the community, um, for one another. Uh, definition might say it's a word for love or affection, peace, compassion, and mercy. Um, oftentimes used as a greeting, we might say peace um, and not really mean it. But when when the people of Hawaii say aloha, it's really, it's a warm greeting um, intended to, to extend a part of who they are in their culture, especially to those of us who are visiting, and hopefully to, to those who live on the island. So I was struck by this sense of aloha when we were there, and I saw it play out in, in many ways as the, as the locals uh, um, you know, were working and we were there on vacation, and as they were kind and provided um, um, hospitality and, and uh, demonstrated their patience for us. Um, other ways I, I saw aloha, um, I think was, was seeing how the, the islands, and we were on the big island in particular, how connected they are to the elements and to, to the creation around them, to, to, the, to the ocean and to, to um, yeah, the environment around them. How, what a reminder that is if you're on an island that literally is five volcanoes that's surrounded by the ocean. Um, it's a reminder that uh, within the context of God's economy, we're relatively small and actually need to rely upon one another, especially in an island context where, where there you live and, and your neighbors aren't that close. I mean, be off of the island, um, that you, are, you become a community together. And uh, that struck me. Um, one of the things that uh, we were on the um, west side of the island, uh, of the big island, Kona, on the Kona coast. And there's one highway, one two-lane highway that runs, I guess it's north and south. And so everybody is on that highway, and the speed limit's 55 miles an hour, and by and large, that's the speed people drive. We didn't see too many speed traps, but indeed people seem to be following the speed limit and you could tell when a local pulled out from a, a surfing spot and uh, they, they went uh, the speed limit, which is highly unusual here on the mainland. This whole notion of aloha reminded me um, of the Old Testament concept that as we've sort of carried over into, into our New Testament gospel lives, the concept of shalom living in relationship, living in community, um, living for the good of the, of the, of the, for the greater good, not just our individual good. And I think at the, at the heart of Christianity, while each of us has a personal relationship with Jesus, that relationship invites us in, really requires us, urges us to then reflect our love, not only for God, but for our brothers and sisters in Christ. And I think that's the living out of aloha, as they call it on, on the island. Um, shalom, as, as is referred to in the Old Testament. It's really a sharing of, of who you are and acknowledging um, your relationship with others and in all aspects of your life, uh, not hoarding or, or taking too much for yourself. If you think in an island context, where there literally are limited resources. And if the ship doesn't come in, you only have what you, what you have. And, uh, and that, I think, at our best is, is how we live into 
um, and to Christ's love for us and demonstrate that to one another. It's interesting to me as I was doing a little research on Aloha that um, it must not come natural even on the island because in 1986 the Aloha Spirit Law was enacted which mandates that state officials and judges in Hawaii treat the public with Aloha. It's unfortunate we have to pass a law to require people to be nice and generous and loving um, with one another. But in fact, that seems to be the case. And the law that we have been given is a law that has been given to us by God through Jesus. And, you know, when Jesus asked, what is the greatest law? It's to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second, like it, is to love your neighbor as yourself. Let that be the law that is laid upon our hearts. That Whether we think of it as aloha, whether we think of it as shalom, of peace, um, let us love one another as we have been loved. You may notice uh, here on my desk is, uh, is a rooster. And uh, while Jake has moved up the mountain into El Dorado Hills, uh, um, Roger and C.C. Linder gave me uh, this um, rooster as a reminder of Jake and the importance of, of proclaiming that the sun is risen um, no matter the time of day or day of the week. So as we um, reflect on um, aloha, reflect on shalom, let us be reminded that it is only possible to, to think about living the, into that kind of peace with one another because the sun has indeed risen. Thanks be to God. I look forward to seeing you next week on Hump Day. Hallelujah.